Hey guys, Matt, Iron Trap Garage, uh, doing another episode for you guys. Uh, this video, we're going to work on the uh, Pagoda City Coupe. We haven't done anything on this in a while. I've been driving it, enjoying it, working the bugs out, and uh, just having fun with the car. Um, past few weeks, uh, the car hasn't been driving because my, uh, my buddy Jerry um, took up upholstery this, uh, this summer. And Jerry is a very quick learner, and he learned from an older guy that uh, was a very good upholster uh, for many years. And he picked it up ridiculously quick, and he uh, and I were chatting one day, and I said I needed to get uh, my seat recovered. He wanted to do his first full hot rod seat uh, before he started really um, charging people full price or taking on stuff that was really delicate uh, or high-end. He wanted to, uh, to do something, you know, a little more simple. My car's not perfect, so it was a good one to do. So this is the seat. Uh, we've had it in for about a week now, and I am loving it. Seat looks awesome. Uh, probably the only bad, bad thing I'll say is he did such a good job that it makes the rest of the car look like a piece of shit. Um, but it's, uh, it's really nice. Once it wears in, it'll match the seat. So the next thing that we wanted to do, Jerry and I were kicking ideas around, and... Uh, Something I liked on some of the 50s show cars and, and you know, hopped up cars back in the day. Uh, guys would take the uh, roof insert off um, and they would put a panel over it out of metal and they would cover it and do a tuck and roll or a pleated uh, roof that matched their seat. So Jerry offered to uh, do the same pleated design uh, and do a padded roof insert uh, on the car. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a panel, uh, i got some 20 gauge steel that I have cut to roughly the size of the roof opening and I'm going to roll up a panel on the English wheel and um, get it so that the shape fits um, and everything fits and then we're going to get it so that we can actually bolt it down to the car and then we're going to hand it off to Jerry and he's going to do, uh, do his magic on it to make it look awesome and that will be one of the final touches on this car and then I'm ready to just drive it and put some miles on it. So uh, let's get started. All right, so Mike and I threw this piece uh, on the roof here. Uh, this piece is sheared up to about the right size that we need, but it's just a little bit um, fat on either side. It's just got a little bit extra material we need to take off. So uh, what I want to do is I want this to overlap and basically kind of sit down onto the, um, to the edge of the visor almost. And then on the sides here, it's going to sit in here. There's a little whip uh, in here that we want it to sit down into. And there's little, like, slotted holes uh, where the tack strip or the nails were that held this down to everything on the inside uh, for the roof insert. So I'm going to try and utilize those and uh, drill some holes through those every so, so far. And we're going to run bolts down through those, and that will pull it down tight uh, onto the roof the rest of the roof when it's done. So right now you can see the panel is got a you know it's got a belly in it. This is we haven't touched it with the wheel or anything. It's all floppy. This isn't acceptable. So if you guys are thinking about doing this, you can't just put a flat piece of sheet metal on the roof. And think it's going to work. It's too big of a span. It doesn't match the shape of the roof, so it's not going to look right. Especially if you're trying to um, just do it out of metal and paint it. Um, so what we need to do is we need to put some shape in this. So we're going to need to put it on the wheel, wheel it up, and it's going to start giving it some strength, and it's also going to give it the shape to match what we want. So uh, we're going to pull this off, get it cleaned up, uh, check our, uh, the shape that we think we want roughly. I'll probably use this back area here with my contour gauge to see what I need, and we'll kind of go from there. But basically we're just going to keep working until it kind of sits on the car and looks right. Um, so we'll go over to the wheel, start wheeling it up, and show you guys where we're at after a little bit. So we're rolling this panel in here, and I want you guys to listen. You're going to hear like a crackling noise, uh, almost like tinfoil when we're going over this. What that is, it's called breaking the grain. We're almost like opening the pores of the metal up so that it starts flowing. So instead of cranking your wheel down really tight right to begin, you go at a moderate pressure or a light pressure over it and it's going to open up the pores almost and make it easier to work with so it's better to do it that way. So just listen as we do these rolls here.
And we're going all the way to the edge of the panel because this panel is almost the correct size. So we want to go basically almost off the panel. We'll keep our tracking nice and tight, especially for these first passes because this is the initial uh, shape that we're putting into it. And we're putting most of the shape is going to be side to side over the wheel. But because we don't have a rubber band or, or rubber upper wheel deadening it, it is going to give us a little bit of shape front to back, which is actually what we want on this. Uh, the front to back is going to kind of just fall into place as we uh, lay it on the car, but the side to side we definitely need to, uh, to get it to lay on the car how we want. So we'll keep rolling this and then we'll, uh, we'll check it and see where we're at and we'll show you the strength just after a pass or two. Okay, so we did the last few passes on this. Um, we did some cross wheeling to try to wash the paddle out a little bit to get some of the marks out of it. Um, probably did a little bit too much wheeling on the edges, so I will need to do a little bit of shrinking around the outside edge, but we'll see as we trim it down. Some of it actually is going to get trimmed off. So what we did just before this is uh, we found that the visor on this car um, is actually sitting just a hair crooked. Uh, away from the car, probably just the old crappy wood on the car that it's shifted a little bit. So even though we cut our panel to exactly a square, you know, size, uh, we had to trim this to match the visor because I don't want to take this car apart because it is kind of mostly original paint. And as dumb as it sounds, I like the patina and I don't want to disrupt it. So uh, what we do is we used the chalk line um, and ran it across so that we could get a pretty even. Uh, gap with how the panel lays in the front here and then when Jerry lays his uh, his material over this that's going to add some to the front of this and it should look pretty nice uh, around that so we have this kind of sitting in place with just a couple of magnets um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take a scribe on the inside because we're trying to get it to sit in a little channel here and we're going to run a scribe mark around the inside on the inside flange and then we're going to measure that channel the width of it 
and then we're going to take a compass and run that along the scribe mark we made, and that will tell us right where to cut it and leave the channel width in place so that it will sit down inside. So I'm going to trim this, uh, and then we'll see it, adjust the panel, see how we can get it to fit, and then we're kind of ready, hopefully at that point, to start putting some studs in this and get this thing uh, to bolt down into the car.
Alright, so after a lot of welding, uh, tedious welding, I got all the studs welded around the perimeter. I did my final trim uh, around the edges to get the, uh, the whole entire panel to sit down in the groove and have maybe about a sixteenth or a little more uh, gap to the edge here uh, where it sits in the channel. So I have a little bit of room for Jerry to wrap the fabric around. Uh, which should work pretty well, and I also left just a little bit in front here as well, so it should sit pretty much flush all around when it's all done and tightened down. Uh, the one real nice thing about putting all these studs in is the roof on this car isn't perfect. Um, the wood in it is good for the age, but it's not great. Um, by doing this, I can pull the whole entire roof nice and tight and even, and it's also going to strengthen the, uh, the top half of the car up a little bit as well. So. Uh, at this point, all I got to do is just hit it with the uh, contour SCT here. Uh, I'm going to strip it down, just get a nice finish on it, get all the junk off of it, and so it's real nice. Then I'm going to spray it with some um, self-etching primer uh, just to get it coated on the top and bottom side so it doesn't rust after it's wrapped. And then I'm just going to mark my center lines, front and back again, uh, so that Jerry has uh, a line so that when he's doing his pleats, he can line up the center pleat right with the center line of the car. It'll match everything else in the car. Everything will be great. It'll look like it was uh, like it was done a long time ago when it's uh, when it's all done. So I'm gonna get the strip in this, and uh, we'll show you what it looks like when it's uh, when it's all done. really nicely and really happy with it um, but I drove it around today a little bit and I noticed that the car gets really freaking hot when you're driving it um, I have a bunch of Eastwood X mat sound deadening inside the vehicle uh, which helps quite a bit with sound and noise uh, but when I've been driving it with the top on today and it was it was pretty hot and sticky here today I could feel the heat just coming down over top on me and uh, I need to do something about that because it's just not very fun. So I took some of the Eastwood uh, X mat uh, that we that they offer. Uh, it is a uh, for the under the hood or in the headliner the car. Now this stuff comes in a uh, spacesuit silver, which uh, I don't particularly like for this car because um, I'm not going to really have a headliner I, yet at least um, or at all. I don't want something that's bright silver that's going to catch your eye when you look in the car. So I sprayed it with a black. Um, just to a uh, satin black just so it kind of disappears underneath the roof so I'm gonna cut this up put it in and I'm gonna show you guys how it all turned out and we're done came with the one big piece actually was like almost the perfect size to fit this uh, we had to trim a couple of relief cuts trim a couple of little spots and it fit up around the wood in the car and around into uh, covering the whole insert so it's going to make a huge difference with driving it so that it's uh, 
The heat's not quite as bad with the sun coming down on it. Uh, overall, it fits great. Jerry really knocked it out of the park with uh, the upholstery work that he did on this. Um, he did the seat and he also did the top to, to, to match. Uh, I rolled up the panel and uh, gave him some rough uh, measurements and he stitched it all up and had it ready to go and I dropped it off and it was less than 24 hours he had it waiting for me. So really, really happy with it. Um, make sure you, you check out Jerry. Um, Jerry's on Instagram. If you guys follow me on Instagram, Iron Trap, uh, I put a, I tagged him in that so you can get a hold of him if you guys want to get upholstery work done. He's a hot rodder. He knows, uh, he knows what looks cool and he does a really good job. So um, yeah, this car is pretty much um, quote unquote done. Uh, that was the last big project on this car was to get the roof insert in. Um, I'm really happy with it. Uh, just putting some miles on it, working out a couple little bugs here and there, but overall it's pretty cool that I'm driving this uh, after all the work that uh, we put in and all the parts we've been gathering. So anybody that's watching this when this comes out uh, in October, uh, Jalopy Rama is in Maryland. It's a really good uh, traditional hot rod and custom show. Uh, I submitted the car for that and those guys uh, put me in for the invite section on the indoors. Uh, so I'll be bringing the car to that and parking it indoors. And anybody that's been following along with all the uh, social media and stuff, you can check the car out in person and uh, give me a high five. That's all I got, guys. Thanks. Mm -hmm.